Yo, what is good, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. For today's video, as you probably already read in the title description or the thumbnail, we're going to be taking a look at the latest release from the guys over at the Richie Lee Collection. The fellas generously sent over some of the pieces from the most recent drop, and so for the purposes of today's video, we're going to be unboxing this, taking a look at what they sent over, and doing an all-over review on the collection. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know what's inside this box right off the top. I actually hadn't seen this piece on social media or anything, so this whole thing is a bit of a mystery. So to start things out, we have the wool panel flight jacket in stone sail. Very, very fire with the color scheme. You got uh, what looks like almost like a heather gray up top. It's kind of a mix of heather gray and like a cream. And then it looks like it is uh, a charcoal. Let's go ahead and crack this one open. Um, if you guys are familiar with this piece, you guys know uh, that it fits really, really nicely, featuring a really high quality zipper out front, is gonna be slightly cropped and have a boxy finish. The fabric is really nice being comprised of what feels like polyester wool, uh, which is very nicely insulating, very nicely weighted. And uh, I love the details on this one. Very, very fire. Next up we have, oh, this one's new, the forest green cable knit sweater. I'm actually really excited about this one. Um, I don't recall if the boys have ever made a cable knit, so this should be fun. Initial impressions, this piece is very, very soft. It's got a nice level of elasticity to it without compromising in terms of weight. This one is a size medium and does fit oversized. If I hadn't said so already, I am 5'7 and weigh about 160 pounds. Next, we've got here a pair of Richie Lee Collection denim. It's been no secret that I am definitely a fan of the denim that the fellas produce mainly due to the fact that they feature really, really nice wash treatment, fit very nicely and have a level of stretch to them, giving you optimal mobility. Now, for the most part, it seems like the consensus answer with regard to sizing is to go ahead and go true to size. But for me personally, I do tend to size up just because um, my waist to calf ratio isn't exactly proportional. So as a product of that, I do have to size up to a size 32 from my normal size 30. Very, very fire denim. This one has a really, really nice wash. And so if you like what you see on drop date, go ahead and check out the RLC 036 denim, which is rustic sand to go ahead and acquire this pair. This next piece is what's known as the pleated sweatpants in charcoal. This is another segment of the website that I have high regard for because truly I don't own any sweatpants like these. Uh, these ones are comprised of a wool blend, uh, making them very, very warm. And as of late here in Southern California, it's been dropping down into like the low 60s. And so thicker sweatpants like this that are more insulating is a welcome addition. This color is very, very fire. And uh, you've got the pleat out front, which I do find to be a very nice, subtle detail. Now, in addition to the pleats, you've got a concealed minimalistic zipper at the bottom. So if you want to, you can go ahead and uh, adjust the taper to your liking or to whatever sneaker you're wearing that day. And I thought that was a really nice touch. The pair I've got on here is a size small. I'm a 30 waist, 5'7", and weigh 160 pounds. Ooh. So this one was one that I was actually very, very intrigued about upon Richie Lee leaking this one out. And this one is uh, the denim workwear jacket in vintage black. In the photos, the fade looked really nice. And I really love like a brown collar jacket with like a black denim. I feel like that looks really, really nice. So let's go ahead and see this one. Yeah, so this one definitely looks just as fire as it did in the photos. It's got a nice wash out front, really nice pocket details, nice hardware. And of course, you've got that contrasting brown corduroy collar, which I do find to be a very tasteful touch. 
This one is going to fit boxy and oversized. And I do plan on layering this one with a hoodie underneath, simply due to the fact that it is oversized in nature. And now for the final two pieces from this haul, I've got here a couple pairs of the sun dried sweatpants in gray, as well as in sun dried black, a couple items that looked extremely fire in the pictures. And uh, just looking through the plastic here, I can already tell I'm gonna like these a lot. You've got that sun dried element that gives these sweatpants the illusion of being sun beaten over years of wear. You've got the raw hem here at the bottom, and then you've got the contrasting drawstring that kind of break up the color palette for these sweatpants. Yeah, man, these are extremely tough and will definitely get a lot of wear out of me. All right, guys, so that is gonna conclude today's Richie Lee Collection haul. The drop is officially set to commence January 14th, so be sure to set your alarms for when that day happens. Be sure to follow them on Instagram for the latest with regard to news and updates, restocks, and releases. And with that to say, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. If you did enjoy today's video, please communicate that to me by liking today's video and subscribing to my channel with notifications on. It helps more than you know. We're on the road to 100K. I'm extremely humbled at the fact or the prospect of that being a real number or a possible number to eventually get to. And yeah, I can't seem to put any other words to it than saying that I'm extremely humbled. It really is such a privilege of mine to get to serve you through making content and I'll never take it for granted, guys. Thank you for the support. Anyways, with all that to say, I will catch y'all in the next upload. Peace and be blessed.